If we hit 275,000 subscribers before the end of this month, I am going to be dyeing my hair and my beard white for Christmas. I will become Santa J. So if you want to see that, hit that like button, subscribe. Yes, the title is not clickbait. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of you guys going, hmm, you, are you going to be stopped playing Shinder Life? And the answer is no. I'm still going to be doing PvP in this game. Just because I hate it doesn't mean I'm going to just desert you guys. But I'm just giving you guys a reason as to why I haven't been doing the PvP videos nearly as much, in my opinions, over the PvP in the game. I would also like to say, I know there are much worse pvp systems in all the other roblox games but i don't think that gives an excuse for this pvp system which was once an amazing pvp system that had super amounts of creativity in it and was just really fun to be this bad nowadays i have honestly hated shinder life pvp for a little while now and if i'm going to be honest if it wasn't for the youtube channel and you know sometimes i just don't have anything better to do i probably wouldn't be doing shinder life pvp at all now as you guys probably know pvp at shinder life used to be one of my absolute favorite things like i I love PvP. I eat, slept, and breath, whatever, you know. I, I PvP'd pretty much all day, every day, whether it was competitive, RPG, duels, or whatever. I just loved PvP. PvP was extremely fun to me. Now, there has been a lot of changes to PvP recently with competitive. Now, I will get to that, but the main I the main reason why I honestly think PvP is just it's sincerely unfun right now, I have not enjoyed PvP to the fullest ever since the auto dodge change happened. So, when auto dodge was changed into the perfect block system, I just, you know, pretty much all enjoyment of PvP went out the window, and honestly, I've just frankly been annoyed since then. You guys might have also noticed that I there has been a ton less PvP videos on the channel since that change happened, because PvP is honestly just not enjoyable in the game. Most of the people that PvP in the game just don't really have something better to do, which, you know, I'm in the same boat sometimes. Sometimes you just want to, you know, hop into a game and play it, whether it actually is very fun or not. And this honestly makes me sad to say, because like I said before, PvP used to be one of my absolute most favorite things in Shindle Life. I freaking love PvP. PvP was insanely fun. You know, even after combos just got yeeted out of the game and you just had, you know, you could auto dodge mid combo, I still had an insane amount of fun. They pop their auto dodge. You can combo them. There was actual tools that you could use to counteract people running. There was just, I just think the PvP experience was just significantly more enjoyable during that time period before the the dreaded perfect block update now when the perfect block update first came out i i've been pretty impartial to it but i think you know I, now is about the time that i should probably you know go ahead and say my opinion over it i think the system was a good try i think it was i think it's a good system in theory but it just doesn't work with shindo life shindo life as Rogue games has previously stated in their own video is a fast paced pvp game a perfect block system that intentionally stalls out the game that doesn't just let you avoid fights it lets you it lets you just get out of fights entirely basically it, it, it's a stall mechanic does not have a place in shindle life pvp auto dodges mid combo was fast paced it was fun you could time your auto dodge if you use it in the right spot you could get out of a combo pretty effectively and you know maybe even start your own combo it was a very fair mechanic the only issue with it is that with it is that you could m1 stagger the auto dodge which i honestly didn't mind i really liked that mechanic i think it you know was pretty fun to do but i understand why people didn't like that so so I feel like that getting fixed would have just been made auto dodge system perfected. It would have been an amazing system. Just drop a new bloodline every now and then that has an auto dodge, make a free auto dodge available to everyone that maybe isn't as good as the bloodline auto dodges, but make one available to everyone. But yeah, back to the point of this video. I, you know, I'm sure you guys have probably noticed in my PvP, few PvP videos I've done recently. I just... I really don't like Shinder Life PvP anymore. You guys can see me complaining 24-7 in those PvP videos. And frankly, it's probably not that fun to watch, you know, unless I'm finding someone that is a bad at the game. Because most of the people that are good at the game obviously aren't going to intentionally lose. They're going to try. They're going to run. They're going to iframe. And I just don't find that very fun. The typical PvP match right now consists of perfect block bypass moves that you cannot perfect block. It consists of, you know, tons of block breakers, you know, tons of just moves that just break break the game's physics and tons of running and iframe moves it's just not fun iframe spam before was an issue but now it is probably the biggest single issue in the game and no fixing iframe spam would not make the pvp fun because the core thing the perfect block system is frankly part of the reason why the pvp is just so unfun to me i'm gonna be dead 
honest when I say this, I have not met a single person that has PvP'd a lot in this game that actually enjoyed the perfect block update. Most of the people that like the perfect block update honestly don't PvP that much at all, or and they didn't during the auto dodge system, so they didn't really know how it was because they just didn't PvP during that system very much. And you know, ever since that dropped, I honestly just have not liked should have liked PvP. I honestly I dread doing PvP videos. That's why I don't do them. Yes, I still do PvP off video. I still PvP people so I can get these, you know, tier lists. I try to be accurate as possible. Obviously, I make mistakes here and there. It's just human error. It's bound to happen. But I do PvP to research for these videos. That is the only reason why I still PvP and should have liked. I find more fun out of pressing right mouse button C spec, Apollo San third on a boss than I do fighting a player. Just because if the other player, is, if you're not using controlled movesets, the game is just super unfun. So you have to control the other person's moveset. And then at that point, it's not even, you know, it's not really should have liked PvP anymore. It's kind of just like you're limiting what the game offers. I also want to say this. This is not a video just completely bashing on should have liked PvP. Like I said before, I really like should have liked. Should have liked used to be one of my absolute most favorite games to play, even more than like games outside of Roblox. The PvP system was so intriguing, so creative, so fun to do. So many things you could mix together. And now it's just the same iframe travel move spam that I just, I cannot deal with it anymore if I'm going to be honest. Now, you can take this video as me being a giant, big, whiny baby, complaining with a, you know, being a bald little baby. That's fine. You can take me as that. Because frankly, that is what I'm doing. I am being a giant baby complaining about the PvP system in a game that I love. I've posted a Shindelite video sometimes twice a day for almost two years straight, almost never missing a day, mostly focusing on PvP content, whether it was doing PvP, whether it was going over PvP. I was kind of like the PvP guy. I don't really ever post PvP pve content and you know obviously that isn't it wasn't just for the youtube channel i just liked playing the game and w ever since the perfect black update i kind of just dealt with it for a while until you know dag eye wire was introduced as zimsenko kunai was introduced you got freaking you know these random iframe attack moves that don't even make sense in the game honestly because they just allow you to avoid damage like you're like like you're firing pistols around you and you just don't take damage you turn into a giant fat meteor and some how you just are completely you know you just can't you nothing could happen to you because you turn into a giant meatball flying down the map like it makes no sense every time i fight a ray karata first user i just want to take his entire plate of food and throw it onto the floor and take a big fat crap on it and i'm i'll give him a f freaking crap sandwich like i don't i just some of these moves in this game are just super unfun and honestly the game being unbalanced isn't even the reason why it's not fun the reason why it's not fun you know when it comes to the you know the balance of the game is that the unbalanced moves aren't fun to fight back in the one shot meta you know back when you couldn't do anything mid combo and you got one shot no matter what nope nobody like nobody really complained about getting one shot it was just expected you know oh you're using a youtube combo that was like the biggest insult someone could ever say it wasn't like oh you have no skill whatsoever you're a freaking lardo you know you're you're fat you sit on your computer all day like dude one shot combos were fun because anyone could anyone could do them as long as you were decent at the game nowadays it's not even that it's not even you have to be decent at the game to perform a combo it's just some in companion fly away teleport across the map with a throwable on a one that cooldown isn't even that long turn into a giant meatball and run someone down it's like dude it's like the core the fun of the game honestly just went out the window and i don't think it's too late to fix the pvp of this game i think that they could still make it fun and frankly the game being unbalanced makes it even more fun it just the moves that are unbalanced have to be fun to fight and use like i'm probably one of the only people that will say this but i absolutely love the shindai kuma ryan red metal Meta. that was hilarious to me G going into a giant buddha statue with a thousand hand technique and pulling someone in instantly one-shotting them was just hilarious i didn't care if it was done to me i didn't care if i do it to other people it was just fun to see it was fun to use and it was honestly really creative so was the clone pool thing that was absolutely hilarious For after a while it did get old so you know it it's fine that got to fix after a while but that is the most fun i've ever had in the game it was extremely fun umpire guitar combos super fun you just slam a guitar down on the ground knock someone back like 50 
million feet and one shot them. It was fun to do. It was super creative with a lot of different one shot combos. And you didn't really see the same combo every single time. You saw all these different combos because there was a lot of different things that were unbalanced that it made the game balanced and fun. And, you know, obviously, guys, this isn't just a video reminiscing about, you know, what I view as the glory days of Shindle Life. I think the best Shindle Life meta was the, um, it was the Ashen Raigo Odin Wolf meta where you could auto dodge mid combo. Odin Wolves made you able to extend any bloodline. You could use any freaking bloodline and you could combo with it because of a sub jutsu. If you had that sub jutsu, you could use any bloodline in the game and still do well. Ashen Raigo supplied the damage that some bloodlines lacked. With these single two sub jutsus, it made every single bloodline usable. If you guys do not even, if you guys don't agree with me, I made a freaking video over it. I made a video where I did a one shot combo with every bloodline in the game using these. If you guys, so you're just completely wrong. You could combo with any bloodline in the game. You could one shot anyone in the game. Surely, the, surely there was better things than other things, but you could use anything and still do well. And I do think that was kind of like the glory days as of recent the glory days before was definitely ryan wrench and daikuma meta that was absolutely hilarious i loved that meta but now the meta is just run away iframe run away iframe it's just i don't know maybe i am being a big whiny baby i i really want to know you guys' opinions comment it below you know maybe i'm being you know a giant maybe i'm being you know an adult complaining about a roblox kids game but i love this roblox kids game i've had a lot of fun with it and it makes me a little bit sad that i just don't really have fun pvping anymore obviously i still enjoy the game i still enjoy you know letting you guys know what's good what's not and still enjoy the pve i still enjoy playing it but i just it's very hard to bring myself to play it competitively competitively anymore speaking of competitive the new competitive system um i i do th i do think there's some pros and cons to it i definitely think that there should be a, a a type of auto duel system to it there needs to be a type of queue added to it Ma maybe make like six different arenas on the map that are you know pretty small add a border to them and make it auto queue so you get instantly teleported into duels like make it a one life duel you die you get teleported to a different duel as soon as someone's available and it just rotates through that that would be fun that would be insanely fun make it like a one life match uh, you, you add like a re like a 10 minute time limit to one life match and if so if someone doesn't die i don't know it, it's just like it'll be a very complicated system to do but i definitely think there needs to be some sort of auto duel auto queue mechanic for it to work properly right now it's just weird i i i, I cannot bring myself to play it because i you guys know this and I, you guys know from this video i hate runners and they infest this game mode like no other so i just cannot bring myself to play any more that i already have now i obviously want to know you guys opinions over that that's one of the main reasons why i'm posting this video free in the comments below i will be checking them out anyways guys that's for this video if you enjoyed this video hit like subscribe guys bye bye